Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so here we go, the last of my Batman pickups. And of course, we have got The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, this film, again, what a great way to end this incredible saga. Uh, I think Christopher Nolan, uh, he done something quite special with this entire franchise. And uh, what he done with this movie is um, not as good as The Dark Knight. But still a wonderful movie. A, a wonderful trilogy. And uh, again, it's one of them trilogies that I have no problem owning multiple times. Whether it's on 4K or Blu-ray. So uh, again, I have to praise these sets. Uh, they really are something quite amazing. I can't believe that I was so hesitant uh, on picking them up. But before I just take you around this. Uh, I'm going to just quickly show you uh, all of these together. Uh, just in front of the camera just so you can see how good they do look uh, on the spines that is so there we go So when you're looking at yourself, that's exactly how it's going to look so it really does look amazing and uh, Again so happy now that I finally picked them up So right folks there we go the Dark Knight Rises. Let's unbox this and I'll show you everything that's in this one Right, so here we go last but not least the Dark Knight Rises and again I have to give credit for the artwork on all three of them. They do look quite amazing. This one is beautiful as well. But I still think I prefer the Dark Knight when it comes to the artwork out of all three of them. I just think it looks quite amazing. But this one, don't get me wrong, it really does look beautiful. And uh, again, Warner Brothers, I think they've done a fantastic job on all three of these editions. Um, I really am blown away by them. So, uh, right, take us around to the spine of it here. And I'm going to show you all three of these together. Uh, when I finish showing this off, just to give you an idea. So just like the other two, you just have the symbol in the back and it's kind of cracked. You get that kind of cracked uh, background behind the logo itself. And then some of the artwork has continued from the front uh, onto the back of it. So uh, yeah, that is quite nice. I do love that artwork. It's, it really is beautiful. So uh, right, so as you can see, there's no J card on this. So I've done that purposely just so I can actually show it to you. Uh, I'll just show you now. So um, there are some of your features that you do get with this and you get that's everything you get inside it. And then there's a couple of your technical aspects as well if you want to have a look at them. Right, so that's the J card out of the way. So just like every other video, I'll start with the little envelope. And there you go, you have the Dark Knight Rises. And uh, all these envelopes are all very identical as well. And that's the back of it there. And of course, there's nothing on the spine of it, just like the other ones, or the top of the bottom. No. So, right, let's open this one up. Now, in the last one, there was a Joker card in there that was a bit of a surprise. And uh, there was also some artwork for the original uh, for the original drawings of the Joker. So, I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything going to be special in here. We'll see. So, uh, here we go. This is the booklet. And, of course, you have Bane on the cover. So, yes, all the booklets had uh, had all the villains on the covers, uh, which I thought was quite brilliant. So, uh, yeah, just take his run through. His, this is just a couple of stills from the movie itself. So, uh, yeah, that is the, the booklet itself. Uh, I do like the artwork on it. It really is nice. Right, so we'll put that to a side. And then, of course, just like the other ones, you have these uh, this poster. And, uh, again, I'm, I can't wait to open this. I haven't actually opened this. This is the first time I'm opening these as well by doing these videos. And I have to admit, some of these posters, the, the artwork have been absolutely beautiful on it. So there you go, that is the first one, and as you can see, it's Catwoman, and it's just her heels. And there uh, you have the bash shed, uh, kind of like the, one of the, the bat logos there on the ground. So uh, that's a very unique looking artwork, it has to be said. Uh, again, never seen anything like this before. And then take us around, and there we go. So this is a, must be an Asian poster that they got. And of course you have the mask uh, broken up on the ground, Bane in the background. So, uh, yeah, I really am liking the posters on all these sets. Uh, I think they did a great job with it. So, right, move the poster to a side. And, right, there is something a bit new here with this one as well. So, we have this little one special postcard that has Rise. And there uh, you yeah, have Bane there in the middle of it. So, uh, yeah, Batman Begins is the only one, as far as I remember, that didn't get any kind of uh, special little uh, goodie added to the set. So, uh, yeah, move that to a side. And then that brings us on to the postcards themselves. So uh, let's run through these ones. And like I've said in all of the other, every other videos as well, all of them have this lovely kind of high gloss uh, finish to them. 
And uh, yeah, again, I, I can't praise this set enough, uh, the, all three of them. Uh, I think they've done a wonderful job in it. And again, I was questioning whether or not I should have spent 40, um, 40 pounds on them. But uh, when you do kind of see how they turned out, uh, it is quite amazing. So there you go, folks. That is all the postcards. And yeah, just like the other sets, absolutely beautiful. So that brings us on to the last, but that is uh, it's the Steelbook, sorry. And uh, there you have Bane uh, and Batman there in the in the background. And uh, yeah, very nice Steelbook, this one as well. Um, I think this might be the best Steelbook of the bunch. Uh, the Dark Knight did look great, but this one kind of, I don't know, it kind of works for me. So uh, yeah, take us around then to the spine of it. And I'm presuming this is going to be very similar to the other ones where they're going to have the credits in the bottom. Yeah, there you go. And then again, you have the Bat logo in the back as well. So, again, yes, the Steelbooks are not the greatest looking Steelbooks you will ever see. But uh, taking nothing away from the, uh, nothing away from them, sorry, uh, they do look absolutely remarkable. So, uh, and there you go, that is the Steelbook itself. So then it brings us on to the discs, and uh, I'll take you through these. So uh, that is your Blu-ray. Uh, move that to a side. Then you've got your special discs, or special features disc. And as you can see as well, it's all different artwork uh, through this, uh, through these discs as well, which is always great to see. And that is your 4K disc. And then last but not least is the inside of the Steelbook. So there you go. So that concludes my unboxings for all these uh, Batman editions. And I have to tell you folks, uh, I was a bit hesitant. But I'm really happy now that I did pull the trigger on them. They just look remarkable. But before I do go, uh, I feel it's only right that I actually show all three of these together. Just to give you an idea of what they look like. So I'll just move them aside. So that is the three of them there together. And I think they pair up absolutely beautifully together. Looks great. And then of course, when you've showed them from the spines, uh, there you go. And that's how they look on your shelf. Uh, I really, again, I am I'm blown away by them. I think they're absolutely f fantastic. And if you are a fan, I honestly think they're a must own to your collection. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is The Dark Knight Rises. And that finally concludes my trilogy of the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Uh, again, I can't praise these sets enough. And I honestly think that if you are a fan of these movies, I think you owe it to yourself to pick these up. Uh, they are by far, it's by far, by far the best edition you could probably have of these on 4K. And uh, again, so happy that I picked them up. So that is it, folks. That is it. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And again, share your thoughts on this amazing collection. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.